Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you, non farm payrolls, Friday, 7th of August. Big move in SPs last night. Uh, 3333 33s were done, 3338s were done. Traded all the way up to 47 and a quarter. Care for what you wish for, right? Um, Got to kill this at 51. Um, piled back down to 24 there when uh, Trumpy Boy banned WeChat. Uh, all the Chinese stocks, Alibaba, Tencent, all those guys got smashed. And equities have come off a little bit. But damn, I mean... This is the gap fill we were talking about. The close on 21 February. 33, 39 and a quarter. That gap has been filled. It's the last gap. Um, Yeah, it's basically the last gap. I guess 33.69 had a two-handle gap. Um, but this is the last big gap. We're thinking this is the turn. Notoriously difficult to pick a top like this. Um, so just keep it tight. Uh, no drama. Um, you have your parameters. Um, and off we go. We got non farms today, so there should be some vol. Um, should be interesting. Cable traded up to 85 yesterday. This is now the bingo number. We think through 85, and then we're going to pop through uh, 132 the figure. This is an interesting break trade for us. Uh, 130, 85. Could probably draw this line now as well. That's not great. Anyway, 130.85 looks looks fairly interesting. These highs here, um, 131.85. Excuse me. These highs here is 132. The fig. This guy's 132.06. This guy's 132.84. So, I don't know. Through the figure, there should be some risks. There should be some stops. There'll be momentum, guys. All that good stuff. Uh, so, be aware when we get up there. Um, should be some money to be made. Dollar turkey, bang. Woohoo. 730. Talking to some bankers yesterday here locally. Uh, we're worried about Turkish assets. And we were just bantering about the fact that this is gonna this is gonna go up seventy handles one of these Fridays. Um, they can't defend this anymore. I think they've run out of dollars. They can do all the black magic they want with overnight rates, but uh, the cash flows from that country are gone. The place is broken, not really properly run from my political perspective. All-time highs yesterday, no reason uh, this doesn't go higher today. We're at, currently at 727.50. Um, I don't know why this says 726.80, but I can tell you at 727.50 in the real world um, should go higher. Should go higher. It's it's little uh, this little cousin dollar czar. Let's take a look at that guy. Kind of a wild day yesterday in dollar czar. Up to sixty six. Boom. So we opened down at twenty six forty handles. Up to sixty six. Back down to forty. Um, back up to fifty six today. 
if you're trading this, uh, and you kind of have to, just with the vol, there's plenty of 30 handle moves lower. If you look on the hourlies, you can see it. 30 lower, 30 lower, 30 lower. Um, you want to just obviously be core long. Um, where is the where is the kill switch on this? Now it gets tricky, right? We're we're 100 and, 120 handles from these lows here. I think your kill switch has to be below 17, 17. So maybe 17, 10, really. Um, so unless you've been trading this the last five days, it's tough to really get long up here. But if you have been trading it um, and you have some PL to play with this is the game right you want to buy low ones now uh, and also you you don't have to you don't have to worry about or you don't have to be cautious about paying high ones either because this stuff moves and it rolls so up through 67 there'll be risk uh, you still have 30 handles until you get to the first resistance which is 18 18 to figure so core long uh, but we recommend a tradable long right just to just keep your sanity uh, because you get lots of up and down uh, with this uh, dollar EM stuff. What else we got out there? Bitcoin. Not going to do much today on non farms, but just quietly bid. Uh, makes a lot of sense to us to own a bit of Bitcoin. Dollar yen super stubborn. We saw all of those uh, options yesterday, and uh, we talked about it on Twitter. Uh, the big guys obviously have downside on, so there's loads of gamma around. Uh, makes this very sticky. We do like dollar yen lower, but it looks like we're going to have to play this sort of grindy, ring around the rosy, tug of war, uh, lower move versus uh, elevator shaft, which is obviously the preferred, the preferred move, shaft. Um, always looking for the shaft, uh, but it doesn't look like we're going to get any shaftiness uh, in dollar yen. So just core short. Probably sell high ones today, uh, up near 106. The real nice sell point is 106.60. Never saw that. Um, don't think we're going to see that for a while. So core short. Dollar CAD. This is a bit of a surprise here. Um, I have no idea why we're at 133.60 other than the fact that everyone got short through 133.30 three days ago. So they all got stopped out today. We've got CAD employment today. So there will be some vol in CAD. A um, little bit perplexed by this move here. Uh, crude down 41.83 right now. Okay, that's come off, but, you know, Euro dollar still ringing the bell near the highs. Uh, why is dollar cat there? Don't know. Interesting. Um, no position on that. Did not fade that on the way back up, thankfully. But that's a little bit of a conundrum, uh, the old dollar cat. Aussie. Westpac was talking about 77 cents as fair value. Thought that was uh, fairly insane, but um, we'll see. We'll see. I think uh, geopolitically, with problems on the horizon with China, uh, I'm always looking for good places or interesting spots to get short Aussie. No positions at the moment, but this is uh, this is just something that on the frontal lobe. Interesting trend line, same one we drew yesterday in Aussie Yen. Um, just sitting, chilling. Anyway, not a lot more to say. Uh, shorty yes, your stop's got to be above 50. Um, dollars are, you want to continue to play on the long side. Uh, we're actually square at the moment again. We will be buying 44s and 34s today just because there should be some good vol. Um, and then uh, just try and remain core long because dollar EM, this is the first to sort of block in the big Jenga puzzle that uh, is being pulled. 
Anyway, non-farms today. Good luck. Talk to you guys on Monday. Ciao.